At the start of Football Manager 2024, you will find Karim Kanate at Red Bull Salzburg. He's 19 years old. He's valued at 8.2 to £25 million and has a contract there until 2028. His only position on the pitch is that of a striker. If we look at his attributes, firstly the physicals, his game is based around his acceleration of 17, his pace of 15 and his agility of 16. Looking at the mentals, bravery, determination, off the ball and aggression are all standout attributes. And in the technicals, he has good dribbling, first touch, finishing of 14 and technique of 12. He doesn't come with any player traits at the start of the game, stands at 5 foot 10, so he's probably not going to be effective in the air, but what he will do is roast players with balls over the top or balls that split defences. So he looks like he's going to have a lot of success in game, but what does FM24 actually think his career will look like? Let's jump forwards five years and see what happens with Karim Kanate. It's now 2028, we have jumped forwards five years and we find Karim Kanate at Liverpool. He's 24 years old, has played 49 times for the Ivory Coast and has scored 19 goals. Valued at 17.5 to 52 million pounds. And when we look at his player development, he has exploded as a player with acceleration, agility, pace and strength all standing out in the physicals, in the mentals, bravery, determination, off the ball, aggression and anticipation and then in the technicals 13 dribbling 16 finishing 13 first touch 14 for technique his player traits runs with the ball down the right and likes to try to beat the offside trap he knocks the ball past his opponent let's look at his history then to see how he ended up at liverpool so when we left him at salzburg in that first season he played 15 times he then played five times in the 24 25 season before a 19.5 million pound move to liverpool and since being at liverpool he has actually found it tough to break into their first team only playing in 19 games across four seasons, which is a very disappointing return for a player of his quality. So does he need to move to get first team football elsewhere? Let's find out what happens in the next five years of his career. It is now 2033 and we have jumped five years further forward to find that Karim Kanate is now at Juventus. He's 29 years old, has played 96 times for the Ivory Coast and scored 54 goals. He's valued at £57 million. And looking at his playing attributes, he's probably now at the peak of his powers. In terms of his physicals, he still has impressive acceleration, agility, balance and strength. In the mentals, bravery and determination. And in the technicals, 16 for finishing, 14 for first touch 13 for dribbling if we look at his playing stats to see how he has ended up at Juventus he played for Liverpool until the 27-28 season where he didn't play a single game before he moved to Juventus for 35 million pounds initially having a good season with 27 games and eight goals but then he's found first team football harder to come by playing 12 and scoring three 14 and seven 14 and 3 and 21 and 10 so not really being able to put himself into the first team but when he did play he did score goals so with him now being 29 there's probably no more development to come but will he stick around at Juventus knowing that first team football is limited or will he take a move for the latter part of his career It's now 2038 and we're going to check in with Karim Kanate for the final time. And at the age of 34, we now see he's playing at Al Itihad. He has 152 appearances for the Ivory Coast, scoring 94 goals and is valued at 2.3 to 7 million pounds. Looking at his playing attributes, he has retained nearly all of the ability that he has gained at the age of 34. However, there are some slight regression in some of the stats if you look closely. His media description is still an elite striker and his personality is a perfectionist. If we go into his career stats to see how his first team footballers got on, so he stuck it out at Juventus till the 35-36 season, where in his final season he played 25 games scoring 9 goals, season before that 26 games 15 goals. In terms of his Al Ittihad career, he went there on a free transfer and played 
all the games in the season in both seasons. So in a total of 68 games, he scored 43 goals, had 16 assists, and managed to get a 7.58 average rating and a 7.68 average rating. We look at his career as a whole, he scored 155 goals in 328 games with 30 assists and a 7.22 average rating. Looking at some milestones then, he has won quite a few trophies. Super Coppa Italiana at Juventus, African Cup of Nations winners in 2035 and 33. He was Serie A champion multiple times with Juventus. He was Community Shield winner with Liverpool and a Community Shield runner-up. He also won the Premier League with Liverpool, African Cup of Nations in 2024. And he was the Bundesliga champion at Red Bull Salzburg in 2023. So he has had a great playing career in terms of personal accolades he was shortlisted for the african football of the year in 2037 38 african 11 of the year african football of the year in 36 37 he was named in the ivory coast seasonal best 11 he was named in the african 11 in 36 african striker of the year third place but he was shortlisted for the african football of the year there is multiple team of the seasons. Again, African striker of the year in 32-33. And whilst he was playing at Juventus, he wasn't really getting the big accolades, but was in the team of the weeks. Going further back, whilst he was at Liverpool, shortlisted for African Young Footballer of the Year, shortlisted for African Footballer of the Year, and named in the Ivory Coast Seasonal Best Eleven. So across his entire career, he has won a number of personal accolades. He has winners' medals galore. He has turned out to be a fantastic footballer across his entire career. And I actually think he's one that you should be looking at early on in the game. Because if you give him the first team football, I think he develops far past what you see on the screen here right then if you're still with me at this point of the video firstly a big thank you secondly if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel out i really would appreciate it cannot thank you all enough for the support you've given to the channel across the past couple of months and there will be even more content to come before you go don't forget to check out the rest of the content there are hints tips tutorials wonder kids let's plays a bit of something for everybody on the channel but for this one i'm gonna leave it there big thank you for watching i'll see you on another video very soon